hey everyone and welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel make sure you guys subscribe and also go follow me on all of my social media accounts that will be in the description down below hit that bell so you can be notified from when i post the next video i post so you won't miss out and also like this video up leave a comment down below and keep watching subscribe you guys already know what to do share with a family member the friend share it with everyone and i would appreciate it if you guys do that today's video is going to be a talking video story time video um my first like video okay so i'm gonna be getting into that today so make sure you guys keep watching but um make sure you guys watch all of the ads i would appreciate it if you guys watch all of the ads on every single one of my videos that would really mean a lot to me if you guys do that and it would help me out a lot so make sure you guys do that for me watch all the ads okay so um okay so a little background how i met the girl so someone just in my family uh introduced me to the girl we're gonna call her janelle and i told you guys i was gonna do this video so i'm doing it but um so that's how i met janelle so um me and janelle met through a person that's in my family and the situation they had going on with someone in her family and then my family so it was just they were together basically and that's how i met her so um, when I first met her, well, first of all, she's younger than me by a few years, and she's a gray underneath me. So, yeah, so that's that. I met her, she was very strange, weird, shy, and I was just like, okay, whatever. So, we just hang out. Every time I would go over to the person that's in my family house, um, she would be over there. So, that's how we kind of, like, formed a friendship or whatever the case was. So, that's how we met each other. Um she was also fake not to mention can't forget that but she was very very fake and i also did a story time with her so make sure you guys go check that video out it's a video that's posted before this one so make sure you guys go watch that and go like it and yeah so that's that um it's just a whole mess okay so i had went over the person's house that i'm related to and she was over there and i was also with a few more people um so we all had one over there it was basically a girl's night and the person she is related to was over there as well the person that sent my family was she had to go to work the next day i think we had one over there saturday she had to work sunday or we went over there friday she had to work saturday it was something like that so um i already knew she was gonna leave or whatever but yeah, so I had ended up going over there. We had spent the night. We was playing Just Dance on the Wii. That's, I sound old. Like, that's just the Wii. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, so we was playing that and um, just having a good time eating, talking. I don't know what we was talking about. We were so young. We were kids. I think I was like 10. I was like 10 11 something like that so very very young i'm 19 now so yeah and she was she's younger than me like two three years so yeah okay so i had went over there everything was cool we were having fun um doing girl stuff so um i had went over there i had a monster high purse and i had money in it i don't remember the amount of money i had but i had like 20 something i think i'm pretty sure i had a lot of money in my purse high color but if you knew me at the time you knew i love monster high like that was my everything i had the uh the wii game i had everything the movie the everything so i did not play when it came to monster high okay i had the dolls i had everything and that was around the time christmas had went on so it was like january or something like that or December because Christmas had passed. I remember that for sure. Just to get in nighttime and when I was younger I could not stay up. I would always get like snoozed or something when I would go to like parties and stuff like that because like I would just always go to sleep early. I would be the first one sleeping everybody up just chilling and I'd be sleep. So I had went to sleep before everyone and it was like it was three up four of us and they were still up and i was asleep because i had with sleep i was on the couch knocked out so um i had woke up in the morning and i had felt my hair tell me why this girl put ketchup in my hair yes ketchup ketchup that you put on hot dogs burgers and stuff like that yes she put that in my hair and when i said i was like well at the time i did not know it was her i had found out later on that it was her so i had woke up everybody still sleep and i'm touching my hair my hair was hard like when i say my hair was hard it was hard like 
hard. <laughs> And it was my real hair. And I had just had got my hair straight up all in my hair. It was everywhere in my hair. So I'm just like, no, she didn't. I woke everybody up. I was like, who did this to my hair? Who did this? Like, I was really irritated. I was like, who did this to my hair? Who, who, who? And then they was like, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Not me. It wasn't me. It was her. It was her. Everybody blaming each other. I'm just like, who did this to my hair? So eventually she said she did it to my hair. So I was just like, mm. okay, so she did that. Later on that day, not even later on that day, I think it was a few hours later, my family member had came and she was in a shower. So I had went in there and I was like, oh, before that, I had looked at my coloring pages. They were all ripped up. Like she ripped up everything. I don't know if they had a part in it, but I'm pretty sure they did. I'm pretty sure they had a part of it too. I'm pretty sure they did it or they told her to do it, dared her to do it. I'm pretty sure because that's the type of people they are. So um, I'm sure they did that. They never said they did. She never said they did. And it was just that. My color pages are all ripped up and I had color everything. All of the pages are ripped up all over the floor. Then go try to close the book, have some of them in there. Like you was not slick, just dumb. And then I go in my purse, my money is gone. And that's what really blew it for me. You would have thought the hair situation made me mad. No, that really made me mad. Cause not only did you put stuff in my hair, ripped up my high color and book that I love. And then you go try to steal my money too. Oh yeah it was over so my family member had came i went in the restroom and i told her what she did to me she said you better go fight her <laughs> she said you better go in there you better fight her you better uh knock her out and stuff like that so she gave me the green light so i went okay so i went in there and i was <laughs> and i was arguing with her i was like why would you do that what made you want to do that just stupid like i was just saying stuff like that like little kid stuff i don't remember exactly what i said or exactly what she said but she did admit to doing it um so yeah so i was just i went in there arguing with her arguing with me back out of nowhere she picked up this wedge shoe you guys know what wedges is and she picked that up and she threw it at me like she literally threw it at my way it went like that like it was so close to being here but it went like right it was went right past my ear to the wall and i just could not believe she did that so when she did that i went over there i dragged her <laughs> Oh my gosh. But I went over there and I dragged her by her hair and we was rolling on the floor just fighting. <laughs> and I can't say I did not lose that fight at all, period. But like, I was like, no, she did not just try to throw a shoe at me and thought she was gonna get away with it. Nope, sure did not. So I had went over there, I pulled her by her hair, I threw her on the floor, we was fighting tossing on the floor rolling on the floor is what i'm trying to say and it was just a whole hot mess and <laughs> after we had ended up getting into another argument it was a mess the fight ended up getting broken up somehow i don't know how but i just remember going over there and dragging her like and still to this day she's still scared that i'm gonna fight her i don't know why like she'd be like i don't want to go over here no more y'all not might try to fight me and she gonna tell her mom that that she's scared to come over because of me. And it's just like, why are you scared to go over there because of me? Like, come on now, like your family member lives there. Why would you still be afraid to go over there is what I don't understand older because I be doing my own thing in my own world, in my, in my own lane. So it's just like, you were scared to go over there for what? Like talking about she's scared I'm gonna fight her. And she said this like two years ago. If I wanted to fight you, trust and believe I would have been did that by now. But my school that I go to now and I, been seeing you we've been seeing each other in the hallway been making eye contact so when you think i would have been did something to you since we're in the same school yes i would have been did something to you if i wanted to fight you again i would have been did that trust and believe okay so um trying to kiss up to me trying to be cool with me the next minute you scared to come over like you're weird to fight you i would have been did that i knew where you lived i knew everything so yeah she was just weird okay so so that happened and about my hair i had went in the restroom i had took a shower and i had washed my hair while i was in the shower i put shampoo in it and then the water and i got it out so i did not have to cut my hair i was crying about that too i forgot to mention i was crying because like um 
I thought I was gonna have to cut my hair off and my hair is long. So I didn't have to cut my hair, thank God. I just washed it and it came out. But when I said my hair was hard, it was hard. Like I thought I had to cut it, like that was about to be it. So once everybody in my family found out about that, then nobody liked her or messed with her or nothing. Plus she had been doing stuff to me throughout the years. So they really didn't like her. Don't nobody like her till this day. Stuff she has did to me and it's dead wrong. I forgive her and I moved on from it, but it's just like, I'm just talking about it so you guys can know about the situation. And yes, this is the true story. Everything on my YouTube channel is not made up. Everything is real life. Everything has happened. I just had to put that out there and stuff the ketchup had came out of my hair everything was good and i think we did start to be cool again <laughs> after that you know i don't know why but we were kids so it was just like whatever and we still hung out and talked until the next thing happened like looking back at it, it was just like come on now but this is the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Go follow me. It will be in the description down below. Subscribe if you're not already. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Period.